Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Indicator Store of the series Do It Yourself. Today I want to explain how to use a VPS, a virtual private server with NinjaTrader. To mainly to trade futures with NinjaTrader, but we know that uh, a VPS can be used to trade a, any any instrument with any broker and any platform. Uh, most of the VPS are use the same interface like this. Uh, we, we can control the computer from a window with the our menu, uh, with the, the our specifications of CPU memory that the user can specify at the moment he uh, contract the service. This is the easiest or the, the simplest configuration that the user can choose to trade with Ninja Trader without any, any problem. At the beginning, when you start the service, the VPS is empty. Uh, even more, the, there's no platform installed. So the user needs to install Ninja Trader on this case. On some VPS, you have a few platform installed, but here uh, the VPS is empty. So you can use the Chrome or your preferred browser to download your preferred uh, platform, on this case, Ninja Trader. The problem is once you have your platform, Ninja Trader, working, how you can transfer your current configuration, the set of charts, templates, strategies, etc., to work on this new computer. And also why? Uh, just to be brief, um, having a VPS, it is working 24-7. Uh, you you can uh, turn off your computer because uh, this is a different computer. It is another computer that is it has a power protection, internet protection. So it is never going to be out of power or internet. Um, even more, you can access to the VPS from remote desktop. Uh, from your computer or from a tablet. But from your computer, you can use the remote desktop. It is included with all windows. You type the name of the server or the IP provided by your uh, server. And also you can specify the user and password, and password. So you don't need to add anything when you connect the following time. For example, if I close now, the next time I click on, on the icon, it just uh, continues with whatever it was uh, doing. Uh, I, I had mod uh, minimized the windows, but if I have all the charts uh, of Ninja open, they will keep open on the following time. Now, uh, when, when you um, choose your service, um, the, the VPS has usually several places that where they are located. For futures, it is better to choose uh, Chicago because this is where the C CDMA is located. But depending on the market you trade or where is your broker, you can choose different locations. After installing Ninja, Ninja is installed from, from the browser, so there's no problem. But now to transfer your files, eh, so you can duplicate your current configuration as, as I have now here, uh, you, you don't need to create chart by chart, one by one, because you can use the option of um, backup on your computer, let's say I want to transfer this configuration. You go to Tools, Export, Backup File, choose the files that you want to export. The most important is the configuration files 
a templates and workspace. The database, historical uh, data is not needed because once you connect to your data feed, everything is loaded again. The log and trace files are errors related to your local computer, so it makes no sense to copy that to the VPS. The market replay is usually not used on the VPS because you can do that on your local computer. But then you can install Ninja script files. Those are your indicators and um, uh, builder strategies in open code. The templates and the workspace, the most important templates and workspace. All that is going to be included in a zip file. And uh, you can see that by default, Ninja Trader is already uh, creating backup files once per week. But just in case you, you have not enabled that option or your backup is too old, you can create a new backup file uh, like today. The, la the last one created in automatic mode was of August 31, but today we are on, no, July 31, but today is, today is August the 7th. Now this file, uh, how, how can we copy that file on your on our local computer to the VPS? Depending on the on the VPS, you can drag and drop. On this case, no, we need to copy and paste, but it is almost the same. The backup files are on documents, Ninja Trader 8 backup, and sorted by date, this is the last one. By the way, this is a zip file. If you change the extension, you can look inside, but this is not the idea. The idea is just to copy the whole file to the VPS. Here we can see that we cannot drag and drop, but we can right click, copy, and then on the VPS, eh, inside the VPS, on the desktop, right click and paste. And this is how we can copy everything eh, to the VPS or from the VPS. Eh, mostly the backup files and also the Ninja script files of all your third party vendors, because this is not copying uh, custom indicators. This is just copying configurations, workspace, templates, and open code indicators. Now on the VPS, we can go to tools, import backup, and select the backup file. I already have this uh, loaded, so I don't want to over, override this. The only thing missing are the custom indicators. Uh, those that I have here, for example, uh, we, we can check what I have installed, uh, trying to remove the, the, the assemblies. And currently I have markers and don't and trend. Those are uh, zip files that you need to copy from your computer and paste here. I have them on download. This is everything I copied and pasted to my computer, from my computer. This is from NinjaTrader. When I install NinjaTrader, it also installs something else. But this is very simple. You just follow the instructions and in less than 15 minutes you have everything working and configured with the advantage that once you are connected and everything configured, you can just forget it. Uh, you can turn off uh, this window and use your computer for something else. Uh, for example, running optimizations or doing backtests. On the description of this video, uh, I am going to, to add more info about the current um, VPS providers that I have tested, and also the instructions to access our chat room where I am going to post more info. Any question or comment, you can log into the chat room. It is free. And see you. Bye bye.